Hello and welcome to part two of making the um, peg bag which is my project that I've been doing to celebrate my anniversary um, of doing crochet videos for a year. <laughs> it seems bizarre. I know my YouTube is actually longer but um, I say I only actually started doing my crochet videos properly in May. Anyway well, I'm going to show you this now. Now I realised when I played, oops, Daisy, when I played back my video, I realised that because I have heightened the camera to be able to cope with the growing of the bag, you couldn't really see exactly everything that I've um, my stitches. But I thought, well, I, I liked the video, um, and I thought I'm not actually teaching you how to actually crochet. I'm just showing you something, and um, so it's not it's not so detrimental but at this particular point here i'm probably going to have to raise it up a little bit just so that we can see because i've got my rose so if i open up if i open out my bag and you can see that's my center point here yeah and as i fold it over because yours should look like this now if you've if you've done it so you're going to count so i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten rows and just to make sure I'm definitely right this row here is my first one so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay now i said we need to do our changeover at this um at this end you know with this this tail end was to remind us and i've left mine just there because i thought well i'm actually going to change my stitch here just so that it's more to one side i suppose i could change it right over on the end but i'm just doing it right one stitch first there okay um and we'll just make sure i've got my scissors you need scissors for this bit <laughs> um i'm just going to pull that through there my yacht because i've left it i might actually pull that undone a minute and work from the next stitch along because i made my um yarn go wobbly and it looked like i was going to be able to split it so we're going to do one two three yeah, I'm definitely going to change it on this one here. So what I do is I'll put that yarn over to that side. I get my new yarn and my new yarn, because I want to, I also, because I always sew on the outside, I put my, my yarn on the outside and I'm just going to literally get my tension with that one and I'm holding it with my finger there so that I can just work in, I can just work straight away into the next stitch and I'm just going to just do my single crochet there. Now I know that this stitch that's been left there, where I'm going to cut off this yarn, I know that that stitch there is wobbly, but if I just do another couple of stitches, I'll show you, because that's not wobbly, it's loose, so it looks like a big stitch. I'm just going to just do a couple of stitches so I've got myself going. And I pull that one up there. What I do is I also, because, like I said, I sew, I, <clears throat> I sew on the outside of my work, um, a lot of the time because it's I personally find it's easier so now I can pull that stitch so that stitch is tighter so that it matches the rest of the stitches and then when I actually get to the very end um, and I've done all of my rounds I will actually tie these in knots as well and then I'll sew them into the areas so that's all it is that's how quick and easy it is to be able to just change over your colour of your yarn and then just progress with your new one and so now we've got to make sure that we have 10 rows of this color and then once we get to the end of this one this is when the pattern then changes so uh, what i'll do is i will do my 10 rounds of white and then i'm going to change over into the lilac i can't remember what they call what the name of that is what is that called soft violet Yes, I'm going to change over into that because, um, see, my, my new yarns arrived today and I was, oh, I've got some beautiful colours. Honestly, it's that I could spend all of my money on yarn, you know, <laughs> but um, obviously you have to have some self-discipline. Um, also, um, because I'm I'm showing you now, uh, now we're at this stage with, um, with the bag, it is bizarre, I suppose, in one sense to work with because you're at it's changing and it goes into funny shapes while you're working and also because of it being the cotton 
it's um it's stiffer than what we're you know like when you're working with the other things so um it doesn't fall and flop the same way but it, i absolutely love working with this it is really really beautiful um i really do like it hats off to the canadians for that one um oh yeah oh each time i think about the canadians then i think about the fires and then it makes me sad and oh I don't. Well, I don't know. It's. A, I say. I. I don't know. It, that there's anything that I can do. I, I. mean. I don't actually know. I don't know anybody in Canada who. Who I could actually. Be able to do anything to help. I, you know. It's. I don't know what kind of help they're getting. The only thing I know about it, what I'm seeing is just what is on the news, um. Because. Well, it's on the. You know. It's. It just has. It's. Things like that, they just, they let the world know, which I know is a nice thing, but also at the same time, it's not because it's sad. And I like happy things. <laughs> um, I, don't I don't watch the TV as such because I find it too miserable and depressing. And there's those of you as well that, go, that, that say, oh, have you got Facebook? I'm going to be honest and tell you about Facebook. I really don't like it. I'm sorry. I did try it, and um, it was it was a few years ago, and I've never been tempted to go back because each time I I mean each time I go and have a quick look just to go and see what's going off. Before you know it, you spent like three hours because everybody's sending you all these things. Can you play this game? Can you play that game? If you read what people put up on there, well, I suppose I'm opinionated and I'm a little bit on the old-fashioned side. But honestly, a lot of people have got no self-respect and they share things on there that they shouldn't be sharing. They rant and rave and moan about this and moan about that. And then they complain about people who all they do is moan and complain about this on Facebook. And I'm like, you're guilty of that, my love. Um... So, I know mean, you do get to see some nice things, don't get me wrong, but honestly, I don't want to listen or look and read and find out about who's been arguing with who, like, three hours ago, but it's okay because they've kissed and made up now and they're all smoochy again. I'm not interested, I'm sorry, that's just... I'd much rather watch a history programme. <laughs> Oh, I, I want I don't know I know that's still about people and everything and but it's not in those days it was I know everything's changed everything's different and everybody's entitled to the opinion which is why I'm allowed to say what I'm saying but oh, I don't know I just don't get on with Facebook so I'm not going to have Facebook I'm really sorry um my daughter said that I should so that my um, so that you can send me your photos and put them up on there but then I says that means I've got to keep going on it and I don't like going on it I always come off in a grumpy mood <laughs> so, oh, you should, I've just read such and such I wish, wish I'd never been on because so you find out things about people that you just do you know when you just know somebody and you like or whether you just know somebody that you work with and, and you think that you know that person and then you're friends with them on facebook and you're like whoa you are not the person that i thought you were before i saw what i've seen on facebook and it changes your opinion of them well it does me and i don't know it's like i don't know I should stop talking about Facebook because obviously, as you can tell, it's already making me get into a grumpy mood <laughs> and I'm waffling away again. So what I should be doing realistically is stopping this video and because you don't need to see me crochet another 10 rounds of this. You don't need to hear me whinging about Facebook. <laughs> Let's try and think of something nice to end it on. Um, oh, history i'll tell you a nice history thing where because i was mentioning about iran and iraq before and i know that they are still at war with each other and still arguing about oil and all of those sorts of things and there's lots of bad things going off there but they are 
the place um the, there's some water in between both of them i can't remember what it's called it begins with an e anyway this this river thing, thing that's there and that is actually where mesopotamia used to be and mesopotamia is the very first human civilization and it just seems so bizarre that they had the very first civilized people and now they're all fighting with each other and ireland as well ireland um, apparently I mean, I mean i don't know what on earth is going off but i read on the news that we are now in high security in england because of being threatened by ireland so what have we done to upset ireland because if we've upset them we need to say we're sorry you know that's it's just wrong all these people always arguing and fighting and oh, the crochet world is so much more peaceful <laughs> and talking of peace what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and carry on with this i'm going to sit out in my garden and enjoy the butterflies and the sunshine because it's actually sunny in england today and apparently it's going to be cloudy for the next three days so i would like to enjoy it so i'm going to go and do that I'm not quite sure about i might need my sunglasses on because i'm using white hey because of the reflection of the the sun um on my work and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to get, get my 10 round little them get my 10 rounds done and i shall come back and join you hopefully in a much more cheerful mood <laughs> and um i'll be changing my color into lilac and i'll be changing the actual pattern of and the way that we actually work so um as you can see it's 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 looking like this so yours should be looking like this as well making these funny shapes while you're going along you may have <laughs> i can't speak you may have chosen different colors um so obviously yours will have different colors as well but I hope you're enjoying it so far. I say this is one of those lovely relaxing patterns that you don't need to think about or anything. And then before you know it, all of a sudden you're like, oh, I've just done all those 10 rounds just like that. And the time just whizzed by. You didn't even notice it. And that's how that's how I like it. That's really, really nice. Uh, and I think, you know, my next few videos, um, I'm just going to do some really, really lovely easy things to do but they're all useful because that's what i like I, I like to have a crochet item that is useful i've got um i've got a new design for tie backs actually that might not look quite nice in the cotton be even stronger in the cotton Ooh, i'll do it in the cotton and uh, i'll share that that's really nice super easy and I've got my drawstring bag that somebody asked about, but that I've promised, I have promised because um, a lady called Kat sent me a message on my Etsy reminding me that I, well, she actually was looking for a pattern that I said I was going to share and be, because <laughs> I forgot all about it and you know how I do, I waffle away in these videos. Well, I'd actually said I was going to share how to do the tick and the star for um, adding on to your projects, you know, like for the converse slippers and whatever else you may want to put ticks and stars on. So I've promised that once I've finished doing this peg bag that I'll do the star and I've got three different sizes to show you how to do, but you can make them make even more different sizes and I'll explain more about that anyway when I actually show you what I'm doing there so um yeah so I've promised that I'll do that next then I'm going to do the bag the drawstring bag that is um and then I might do the curtain the tie backs for the curtains next because that'd be lovely because I just think I, I don't know I don't know if you like me where you like to you, you do like your projects but you also you like to have some variety because i tend to some things i get addicted to and i have to crochet like them over and over and over and over and over again a bit like this peg bag to be fair because this is my third one <laughs> um and then other things 
I don't know, it's like you get to a certain point where that's it. I'm like, fed up. I don't want to crochet that anymore. And to be honest, I got a bit like that with the converse. You know, as they was getting bigger and bigger and they was taking longer and longer to do. And, and the patterns was, the numbers in my head, they were going round and round. And, um, and then I had that issue. Well, I still have that issue with Dr. Potter, but he still hasn't said anything. So I'm still waiting patiently. I have ordered a book though, and I can't believe it. It's I mean it's over twenty years old this book, and it cost me fifty five pounds because you can't get it in this country. Um, very often this is like hardly any of them, and they didn't have it in the library, so uh, I'll share that when that arrives. So that's one of those things where I keep thinking, I keep thinking I'm going to be doing one of my videos, and then all of a sudden the doorbell's going to go. And it's actually going to be the post lady bringing me my book. But it's still not here. I'm still waiting. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I'm wasting your time. And, um, well, I don't know. Some people don't consider that I'm wasting the time because they like to, in, they like to hear me chattering about the daft things that I talk about. And to get on my soapbox and moan about things. <laughs> so, uh I don't know, you might be the same. You know, there's some of you out there that might love Facebook and, and you know, can't live without it. My sister's one of those. It's like everywhere she goes, everything she does, she has it. She'll take a photo of the food and show me what she's eating and the photo of the building that she's in because she just, she is very, um, <sighs> she's an outgoing sort of person. She is and she likes to go out and about and do lots of different things, whereas I'm not. I'm, I'm the opposite. I'm a homebody and uh, I like being at home. I like the peace and quiet. I'm quite happy with my own company and the nature and my pond. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I say we're all we've all got different personalities and everything. And I know that like it's a, a huge, huge thing and that everybody does it. And oh. Maybe when I can't crochet, <laughs> no, no, when I can't crochet, then I won't, I'll be sad and miserable then, I suppose. No, I don't know. I've always got little hobby things. I also like to draw um, and to paint. And um, as you've seen, when I was making my cake toppers, I like to model, but I'm not doing that anymore. I've given that up for the time being. And do you know what? I'd, I'm... I'm not missing that. I know that's it's it's um, a weird thing to say, but because I was working with brides most of the time, grooms, um, every so often there was a bridezilla, <laughs> and she'd be like, "I want to know what's going on with my order. When's my order going to be ready? Have you done this? Have you done that? Oh, I've decided to change the colours." And you're like, "Woo!" And uh, I always used to be very nice with them and say, "Look." I don't mean to sound like I'm being rude. I know that it's busy. I know it's important. I know you're getting married. But in your plan of doing everything else, please put it in your diary to have a day at the spa. Go and chillax and just have some time out. Because otherwise, you're going to end up at your wedding, bags under your eyes, stressed out to eye heaven. And that's the wrong thing to do. Those photos are the ones that people are going to look at forever. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you and not a bridezilla and you you're nice and calm and relaxed and and at the end of the day you never know what nature's going to bring to you it's like you could do all these plans for everything to have this wonderful outdoor wedding because it's been sunny like in i don't know been in a drought <laughs> and then it chuck it down with rain yeah you you just don't know so you've always got to have you've got to be relaxed enough to cope with whatever is going to come along well, that's what I think anyway. So, and I can't believe it. And I'm crocheting like mad here, and I'm actually on my fourth round. So, I really, really am going to go. I've done another 20 minutes of complete waffling about piggledy piggledy anything. <laughs> I'm going bonkers. No, well, I've, we've established that I'm already bonkers. So, um, anyway, um, I do hope that you're 
enjoying what you're making this is what it's looking like now it's much more bag shaped okay so i'm going to love you and leave you so thank you for watching thank you for liking thank you for subscribing thank you for your thumbs up thank you for your comments and thank you to everybody that's been buying my patterns and um supporting me that way because i really do appreciate that thank you um um i know I'm, i am a youtuber um and i actually have started you know i have got paid from youtube but i don't get a massive amount of money so the the patterns are supportive as well because like i said i'm i'm a single mom and well there's only me to bring in the income so whichever way i can get it to come in is a good thing <laughs> so uh anyway um I, i'm not moaning I, i'm not complaining sorry i'm not you know i'm, I'm happy being a single mom don't get me wrong <laughs> i don't have any issues with that so uh, just in case anybody was thinking they're like oh no i really am i enjoy my life i'm very very privileged um my sister says i live like a retired retired person because <laughs> i can just do what i want when i want um and i can just sit and crochet all day so uh where is she doesn't she she's one of those she's like a high flyer and a, and a good job and goes to work in stonking high heels and smart business suits and here's me at home in my sandals and <laughs> just happy landed around in my garden so uh, i am very very lucky i'm very very grateful i really am i do appreciate the fact that you actually enjoy my videos and um my strange little quirks and that you are actually buying my patterns so thanks a lot guys okay bye for now